Hello everyone. Good evening. Today is the uh, 8th of September and uh, the timing is uh, 17 minutes past 4. Today is Sunday being a holiday. I just want to interact with you, tell you something which you might feel helpful in your trading. Okay. My last video was about mathematical tricks. Today also I am going to show you one mathematical trick. But many of you, you have many people have requested that sir, give some indicator. Now, I am the one who do not believe in the indicator. Let me be very frank and candid. I have learned entire technical analysis years ago. I used right from RSI to Ichomaku, everything. But they did not actually work in the desired manner in which I was thinking. So, uh, but here to most of you, I shall show you an indicator which is math based. So you will ask, I know many of you will say, sir, indicator, how it can be math based. So it is based on certain logic, certain numbers, and you yourself will see how the indicator changes its appearance, use, color, everything. A simple math trick in indicator. Now tell me, Indian market, what is the duration of Indian market? On a daily basis, it starts at 15 minutes past 9 and it is still 3.30. So total 6 hours and 15 minutes. So 6 hours means 360 minutes plus 15 is 375 minutes. Correct? Now you know my whole mathematics is based on 26.1150 and 73.889. Now, how these numbers came, if you want to know more, you can go and see my past videos. Okay. But now, 375 minutes, if you will just do a simple calculation, 375 multiply by 26.11%, you get 98.02. So, this is 98.02 minutes. Remember this figure, 98.02 minutes. Now I again go ahead and get 26.11 of this 98.02, then I get 25.59. Got it? Now let me come back to 98.02. If I go on a chart of 5 minutes, the 98.02 minute is 20th candle. Because 19 multiplied by 5 is 95. So, I 95 minutes are over. I want 98.02 minute. Means it is the 20th candle. I hope you must have understood this. And if I come to 25.59, which is nothing else but 26.11% of 98.02. Then 25.59 means 25 minutes complete and 26th minute is yet to start. 0.59 means 0.30. Okay, 59 means 100 minutes, 60 is 30. So just 25 minutes are completed. So 25 minute means on 5 minute chart, there are 5 candles. In first case, it was a 20th candle. In second case, it is just a 5th candle, which is just complete. So remember this 20 and 5. Okay, now let's go on chart, whichever chart you wish to go. So, uh, now let's go on uh, our regular Nifty, Bank Nifty charts. Okay, so now this Nifty chart. So, I am on 6th. You could say this 6th. The date is 6th. Okay. So, on 6th, these are the levels which are shared in the YouTube. You could say this, sorry, uh, in my telegram. Even before the market starts, at 10 minutes past 9, these levels were shared. I shall just consider two levels, bullish above, bearish below. So, bullish above is 25, 
bear is below 25.055.14. The same levels are plotted over here 25.132.26, 25.055.14. And now see the magic. Most of you wanted one indicator. Suppose I take Mr. John Bollinger's Bollinger Band. Okay. So let me go and find out the indicator Bollinger Band. I shall go and see Bollinger Band. And by default, the Bollinger Band is 20 period and C. How does it look? Okay. And now I will change this with my mathematical figures. So I shall change this. I want pi period and I need I need 0 0.2611. And now Chase, see the beauty. There are some small things you wish to see now. This is how you can use the level that I give in Telegram to the maximum possible benefit. You see this particular band. First of all, it is a descending band. So this shows you the exact trend. Now, first three candles, you will wait unless the band becomes turns upward like this. See, you could see it's turning downward. But then the price is going up. What can I do? How can I know whether the price still goes further and later it may change? So now the second time frame will come to our help, which is 20. So I will again go into indicator, again will type a Bollinger band, again I shall get one Bollinger band and I shall change it again to my indicator, uh, to my figure 0 0.2611. And now see the beauty. This is the upper band which is 20 period. This is the lower band which is 10 period. Now what happens? You know, the smaller period is up, the bigger period is down. It's a bullish trend. The smaller period is down, the bigger trend is up. It's a bearish. See, exactly took a resistance at the upper band of this altered Bollinger band. After watching this, one of my very close friends, I can't resist the temptation of sharing this with you. He just said, Mangesh, you should post it to Mr. John Bollinger. I said, what nonsense? He said, no, yes, he will also uh, he will also <laughs> tell you that perhaps this Bollinger Bands is giving better result than his own. I mean, that was his saying. I do not want to take a grade. I just thought like sharing this with you people. See now, the basic use of indicator is show you the trend and show you uh, uh, when the trend is going to reverse. So both are downtrending. Bigger band is upward, lower band is downward. See the beauty. I mean, here you're absolutely spot. Absolutely. This is the first level, second level, third level. This will help you a lot. This shall help you a lot. Then see what happened. Now, the level was last level 2493.44. So it went below 393.44. It exactly got reverse. See over here. The first time, just see for the first, you will have to study it minutely. It is not so simple that today you have seen and tomorrow you are going and trading on basis of this. No, now see this has turned upward. All through this, it never turned upward. See the, see the, uska jukao and now for the first time it turned upward. It precisely went to 939. Again, it dipped below and again it came. I need not say how much useful this will be. Just the trade is negative, go for a put. That's all. Khatam. Suppose here ever, just watching this 25,000, 
100 put suppose you go for 25100 put let me show you to what is the result of 25100 put See, the put exactly took support at the lower Bollinger Band. It right. I mean, you once it takes a support, even though you buy over here, doesn't matter. From one one five to straight way to eighty nine. What do you, what else do you need? Okay, it works, sir. It whether you, uh, whether this is made for intraday or for positional, because the calculation which you just told it is based on intraday. You took first 375 minutes, then went on to uh, make uh, take its 26.11, which is which was 98 point something, or then you took first. Array, my dear friend, we are fortunate enough to get these both figures. Five and 20. Five represents what? A week. Friday comprises a week in technical. 20 comprises of what? A month. So you can easily use this even on, even on, let me show you. See, so this is a five period candle. Okay, let me make it big. I'm just showing you this big card. Okay, five period. I'm just using the indicators. My indicator, the changed one indicator. See the trend. Let's be a card. Now, if you want to see on a daily time frame, I have taken this, this you know, example for both. Just see, see the beauty. Now, sir, can you give us one more indicator for the same? Just to confirm, just to confirm. Okay, take it. Your basic indicator MACD. Okay, let me type MACD. Is what? 1226.9. Okay. Let's change again. Now you just tell me one thing. 26.1173.89. Right. Let's change him to that figure. So instead of 12, I shall go for 26.11. It doesn't give any fractions. So, so I will go for 26. And 73.89, I will go 74. Let the nine, 9 remain as they are. And then see. When they cut, you can find both are cutting almost similar. You see, both are cutting almost similar. They are going up. Here also, just see this. This was the beginning of trend. You can see it on 5-minute chart also. You can see this beautiful. See this. What a beauty. See this. What a beauty. So this is a gift from me to all of you who can't trade without indicators. We have got, you have got frustrated, I know, but still you can't trade without indicators. Sir, give us something. So this is for you all. Okay. See this on a daily chart. How does it look? Beauty. Isn't it? This is nifty. Now see exactly when Nifty came down. It see the bigger time frame. I mean, this is a daily time frame. See how the band is turning down, and that is why the band is also turning down. The candle got closed, and this is the re the return or the result you got. See in Nifty Bank, you shall on a daily time frame you shall find the same thing. See, we'll see the same. You can track n number of companies with this. For example, Hero Moto. See how Hero Moto is going. I will just go on a daily time frame. Right from 5 minute to daily, just see. See, MSCD is above the zero line and then the breakout took place. And here, 5578 from 5578 within no time, 5799. This is on a daily time frame. You could see the rally, how they have prospered, how they have gone up. Okay. See, you exactly know all through this, the bigger time frame goes up, smaller time frame comes down. 
represent it a beauty. So those, this is just a mathematical gimmick. Otherwise, the Bollinger looks different. I have shown you how does the Bollinger looks. And, and uh, after changing this, how, the, how does it look? That's all from my side. <clears throat> I shall uh, post uh, one more beautiful video on next Sunday. Now, I decided to post at least a video once in a week, either on Saturday or Sunday. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Have a great trading week ahead. Bye-bye.